Hi, welcome to creating reversing and reoccurring journals, entries, and Dynamics Nav. If you post certain transactions frequently with little to no changes, the reoccurring journal allows financials to process entries according to your specifications. To create a reoccurring entry, you can use the search function. Fill in the reoccurring method. This provides you with an option of adjusting amounts used in the reoccurring journal. The options can be fixed, variable, balance, or the reversal of these methods. For, the ex for this example, I'll use fixed. The reoccurring frequency is related to how often the transaction will occur. This can be days, weeks, months, or years. I'll make this frequency once a month. The posting date is today's date. You can set the document type to be payment, invoice, credit memo, finance charge memo, reminder, or refund. We're going to post a reoccurring payment. In the document number field, a reoccurring journal line can contain a time period name that updates automatically every time the journal is posted. I will enter a code that represents the time period description to be inserted. You can choose from the following codes. The account type can be a GL account, customer, vendor, bank account, fixed asset, or intercompany partner. We will be paying the vendor, London Postmaster. And the amount will be for $10,000. The allocated amount field shows the amount that has been allocated. I'm going to allocate 80% of this payment to the mortgage account. And the remaining 20% will be allocated to the repair and maintenance account. The expiration date field specifies the last date on which the reoccurring journal will be posted. As you can see, the total balance equals zero, so now you can post a journal. A monthly occurring payment of $10,000 to the vendor London Postmaster will now be posted. And here's the payment. Now we'll go through reversing transactions. Say I made a mistake and wasn't supposed to post a transaction. When an incorrect journal is posted, they can be reversed in the corresponding register. For example, if you go to the chart of accounts and find the account that you're trying to do a reverse transaction in, click letter entries from the ribbon the history or dealings will appear on the page. We will select the reverse transaction in the ribbon. We're going to select the GL entries we want to reverse and click on reverse in the ribbon. And as you can see, the correcting entry has been posted. And that sums up reoccurring and reversing entries in Dynamics Nav. Thanks for watching.